them to do something new, you just you just sit down with them. Or like, is, is there any other strategies used to do that? Yeah, yeah. So I, I work really closely with our head of sales, um, and I'm in weekly meetings with the sales reps now. I'm just trying to make sure that we're on the same page as far as what they're doing. And then really, I like to take the role of, or um, the underlying really focus of sales ops is to remove obstacles, right? You're here as a sales rep to do your job and there's certain obstacles to you doing your job. It could be lead flow. It could be data quality. It could be training, whatever that may be. My job is to remove obstacles. It's not to get in there and structure your day entirely and tell you exactly what to do, but it's to say, how can you be most successful and then share that best practice across the organization and make sure that, you know, I remove any obstacles I'm able to remove within my role. Got it. Yeah. So on the micro level, it's like, how can you make this one person more productive? But then it doesn't really matter if you can make one person really productive, if you can't standardize that and then yeah. try and make everyone productive. And so that's, so that, so for me, it's like your role has two parts, right? It's like the micro getting one person productive, but then also making sure that that tactic is scalable and repeatable across everybody. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we have reports that review in those weekly ones and, um, the people that are doing really well, that's obvious. The ones that aren't, that's obvious as well. And then we're able to, at that point, understand on an individual level, what do you need to get across the line, right? Maybe it's more activity. Maybe it's training on a specific thing. And then putting them together, really, you know, rep A is really, really good at this thing. This is something you're struggling at. Let's have you sit with them for an hour, talk to them, listen to some of their calls. They can listen to a couple of your calls and see if we can get you guys together. Interesting. So peer to peer training slash learning. Yeah. I, I think it's a fallacy that management or ops has all the answers. A lot of times we need to have the most open minds, right? And I think those one-on-ones and teams are interesting times to meet with that because not everybody's great at the same thing. And some people have answers that you don't. So you have to put yourself in a position where you can find those answers and be open to, you know, making pivots when you need to, but also at some point too, pivots aren't necessarily necessary. So trying to find that balance between, you know, are we missing something or are you missing something? 